Hey guys, uh, it's 3.30 in the morning, and this happened. I just woke up from it. I got like three hours of sleep. Anyway, I woke up singing Crimson and Clover, the song I'll show you. This song, I'll put it in the description. I woke up singing it, and I realized I've been singing this for four days. This song for four days. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, you know? So, I told my innocence, my innocence, and I'm singing a song. I tell my innocence. He goes, Jesus, Richard's singing a song. Crimson and Clover. He's singing it over and over for four days. And uh, he told when my uh, innocence screams out, he's relaying a message to Christ, the region priest, my kids, Tina. Well, anyway, I'm listening to all this going on in my head. One of the girls... Runs away and tells Christ, or no, tells a regent priest, I think. I think it's a regent priest. He runs over and tells the regent priest, which I really don't want to deal with. But what can I do about it? Nothing. So she runs over and goes, Richard's been singing Crimson and Clover for four days. It means something. And he goes, Crimson and Clover, that's about abuse. And I'm like, it is. I, I personally, in my brain, I don't know a fucking thing about the song. I like it. It's a nice song. But I don't know what it means. I don't even know the lyrics. I heard it on the radio my whole life. But I don't know nothing about it. Nothing at all. Not a goddamn thing. Turns out, Crimson and Clover, the song, is about abuse. Meet a girl and you get in a relationship, more or less. This is what the song is saying. This is what I went and I looked it up on the YouTube because I was singing in my head. So I know the songs I sing are messages for me to discover. And it's about abuse over and over. And you get into these cycles, cycles of violence. In the song, he's singing, he's saying, well, you know what I mean, anyway. Anyway, um, I'll go back to normal. Anyway, the regent priest says, that song's about abuse. And he then says, my innocence says, and starts talking to the priest. I guess it's the priest. He's a nice priest. He ain't the one who stole my seeds. So I can't really dr drop a hammer on him. So he says, Rich was talking to the, the tube told him. Rich was talking to the tube and it is singing. The tube is singing Crimson and Clover. He goes, Jesus Christ, I thought it was, I didn't think it was that bad, the abuse. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, the tube? Well, I know the tube, it talks to me. I'll describe the tube in a minute. So, the priest asks, what do you hear for the tube? The song and I heard this. The tube told me. The tube. I just call it the tube. But they call it the tube. I just fucking discovered it and used it for everything. He says, when I, when I gave the song to the priests, Crimson and Clover, I went to him, the tube, 
And he says, the tube says, thank you for relaying the message to the priest and to Jesus Christ. And I'm like, okay. And then he goes, I go, what was the meaning of this? What, 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 why are you singing this damn song in my head? And he goes, home. That's all he said, home. Or I want to go home. Home or I want to go home. Meaning heaven. So, I'm tired of the bullshit. So, I don't know if the song is about the priestess or about abuse in general, abuse in general between me and Chris and Christine, the zombie next door. That's the only abuse I'm into 24 hours a day. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know the level or the extent or the meaning. I know it's about abuse. And I know I'm being abused. Is it day-to-day -day shit on the street? Is it the shit I got to deal with my mother? Is it the shit I got to deal with with Chris? I'm just surrounded by shit. Every fucking day. The whole apartment building is shit. Crackheads. Drug addicts, fucking horrors, fucking pigs in the asshole with an air conditioner. Is it that abuse? I don't know. I'm going to find out and I'll tell you. Christ, Christ came. And he said, You got to sleep for me to contact your inner self. I'm like, I thought it was my subconscious. He goes, no, it's your inner self. I'm like, whatever. So your inner self is your higher self. Now, I know this tube, he opens up. It's like a tube. It opens up in your head, and the answers come out. Now, the answers he'd given me all my life, when I meditate, or I ponder stuff. I ponder, are subatomic particles real? Boom. He opens up and gives me a vision of subatomic particles through my third eye. Are other dimensions real? I get the box. He opens up. I get the box. The box spins in two places like this. Well, one left, right bottom. The light forms in the middle, opens up a porthole in the, in the void. And I look through the porthole, and it's a window into another world with fucking ETs and garbage and shit going on. That's how it works. That's how it works for me. I open up portholes, and I go to the Sasquatch world. He's showing me. I'm exploring the universe from my insides. And my insides are my inner self. You got your soul. Your soul. You got your inner self. Your inner self is the big self. The huge self. The God self. They stole my seeds. So it takes away from me navigating St. Lucian and the illusion. And going to all these places and seeing all these things. And doing all this stuff. But I'm so hammered by fucking general abuse from day to day. It's taxing the fuck out of me. This is what I'm thinking. The song was saying, Rich is in a circle of abuse. Now, I let it all go. I do it with Christ all the time. Christ puts me down to the bottom of the well, and they all yell at me all the way up to see how far I can get before I freak out. And they yell abuse. And it's everything, everything. And once you don't have a reaction to it, you're just looking at all the people yelling at you, you come out on top and you're clean. You let it all go. That's the, that's the abuse. I keep doing that over and over. I did it for 20 fucking times in 10 years.
And it's not a small thing. Christ has to do it with you. And it's not a small thing. It it'll kick your ass. Every insult is a personal attack on you. This is how Christ heals you. But in the dream, you get caught up. And those are issues he's got to tackle with you. Those are issues you got. And it's everything. Every. Everything. So I just want to make this video. And that's how. My inner self. Talks to me. But I didn't know it was my, my inner self. I thought maybe it was my subconscious. But it's not. It's my inner self. That talks to me through the tube. The tube opens up. and gives you visions. I've done it all my life. There's no big fucking thing about it. I hear songs give me answers to my problems 24-7, all day, all month, all year, every fucking day. I get, I go exploring in my daily life. I see UFOs. How do I see them? My inner self sets it up. My inner self to the aliens. Me, Rich, do this, do that, and Rich fucking freaks out of happiness. I'm exploring myself. I'm learning. My my inner self. So, that's what I love to do. I love it. It's all I want to do. But, abuse from the outside world. And I get caught up in it. And I try not to. When I see myself getting caught up into it, but it's just fucking taxing the shit out of me, man. It's like a spiritual cop. I'm like a spiritual cop. But I fucking really don't like cops. But I ain't really out. I'm not out to... I've never had a criminal record. I've never been... Well, I've been arrested a thousand times. But I've never... Committed a crime. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the fuck. It's like I'm a cop. Spiritual cop. But I don't even want to do that. I just want to fucking walk around on the moon. Looking under every little rock. Finding the fucking space station. <laughs> You know what I mean. I want to learn. I want to learn about fucking time and space and dimensions and the physical DNA world, the atom world, carbon atoms, this world we live in compared to the outside spiritual worlds or other dimensions other carbon dimensions, not other worlds, but a fucking dimension. And I've seen it. I've seen it. I look through the porthole at the other dim dimensional world. So I know they exist. But I just want to know how they exist. Some kind of framework for my mind to understand it. And my inner self shows me that. And all I got to do is, I wonder if other dimensions really exist. I don't even think about for an answer. I think about, I wonder if they exist. And then I have the vision. Fucking full 110% unprecedented vision. That'll fucking make you sick. And I tell five people on YouTube. Which goes into another whole thing I don't want to talk about. But Crimson and Clover. About abuse. It's about abuse. Blood and Clover. Anyway, guys. It's a nice song, but abuse over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And what context that means to me, in my case, I don't know yet. 
but I've been singing that damn song for four days and it's driving me nuts now. Not really, but anyway, I got to load three videos. <sighs> Later, guys.